about five months ago, I was homeless for like two months, like sofa surfing and stuff. And I came here because my mum moved away. I was living with my mum and my little brother. It was a bit of a pain in the arse, so I moved in here. Yeah, a bit mental, fighting all the time, yeah. I lived with my dad. Ran away from my dad when I was 14. Ran away from my mum when I turned 17. Um, six months ago, I had no place to go. I was homeless, so I lost my flat. Reception. Be the wonderful cat. This is where they come to talk to our support workers. This is the computer room. Started, we wanted to show you the five star quality that we have in here, okay? Right, first of all, the bed, okay? Should come with a fridge, freezer, LCD, oh. small, compatible. Top of the range, man. You yeah. get a free Toshiba. You get free Toshiba video, VCR, with the DVD. All rooms come on suites, right? We're talking chrome, chrome sink. <laughs> This is where we all sit and relax, play pool, listen to music, talk to chill, we rock out with our fuck out, we the garden, we hook the ball. The fire is pretty good. Uh, it's a place for people when they get kicked out of their houses, it's just easier because it's like supported housing and it's just better for the people who are on the street. It gives them a chance to know what it's like to move into a flat and everything. We've seen people from 16 to 25 and it just practically gives people a home like student housing. It's £8.11 a, a week so it's pretty cheap, it's going down now as well. Seven pounds, sixty odd, something like that. If you on housing benefits, they pay most of it off, and you just need to put in eight pound eleven for gas, electric, and water. So that's the reason why I moved down. It'd be closer to college and easy for my life. I just decided to move on as well. It gives people a really good chance to socialise and see what it's like to live independently, and they also help if you pay enough debt. All sorts of stuff they can help you with. It's really amazing, it gives you so many connections, it's unbelievable. I've grown up a lot since I've moved in here. Made lots of friends. Yeah, I've changed completely, the person who I am, but I think I've changed for the better. I'm more outgoing and open now. What I needed was a roof over my head. Uh, I've been in there over a month now and it's, it's superb. I've got training, um, my life's straightened out a bit more. I've got a roof over my head, food, and like I was for six months. It's, it's great, that's all I can recommend, just coming to the foyer. Would like to achieve. The foyer has been set up to enable vulnerable young people to move forward in their lives, to be able to get where they want to be, to provide support and guidance um, so young people can get where they want to be in life, achieve their future goals and be the best person they can be. What's, what's your usual routine then for the day? Um, Depends to do work. Pretending, always pretending, yeah. You've got to keep that, keep that up. Yeah. Uh, basically, a lot of meetings, support meetings, mm -hmm. following up with a little bit of paperwork. What's it like working on the fire? It's fantastic, believe it or not. Very challenging, but challenging in a really positive way. 
really enjoy it. Young people of the fire are some of the best citizens on the planet Earth. <laughs> Why did you decide to work at the fire? Um, I was in a similar position when I was a teenager. So the opportunity to come back and give experience from what I've had to go through, what I've been through, well, I think it's, um, it's good. I'm doing counselling and psychology now, so I'm hoping to become a <coughs> counsellor or something in the psychology field. Um, well, I'm moving out on the 13th anyway, for definite. Um, <laughs> what's going to uh, I'm getting my own flat. I just started work the other day. Um, to be on the stage, play music, or to, I ought to go to university um, in two years, hopefully. But, um, after that, God knows. <laughs>